Greetings, everybody. This is Etho and Taxes back again with the Project Ozone 2. And of course, guys, we are playing in Kappa mode. As you know, Kappa mode makes things more difficult, more grindy. You need a ton of resources to make each machine. Sometimes it's ridiculous, almost. But so far, we've done okay, right, Taxes? I think so. Last episode, we made the Neutron Collectors. Uh, a full stack of them. We got 64 of these things running. Check it out. We got little baby tiny piles of neutrons. Um, my voice went really high there. I don't know why. <clears throat> uh, I tried putting a block on top of these to see if that stops them from working. And it doesn't seem to affect it. So they don't need sunlight or anything like that. They just, they just give you neutrons after quite a bit of time. It takes a long time. So we need 9 times 9 times 9 of these piles. That's 729 total to make one ingot. And I figured it out we need like 200 plus ingots <laughs> to get the wand of animation. So am I missing something here? Like that seems a little crazy to me with how slow they are. I don't know. Maybe we just need thousands of them running. I'm not sure. But possibly there's some way to speed up the, the neutron collectors. Like, can we do it with the imaginary time block? That's something we still haven't made. It says it works for crops, but does it work on machines too? Because I feel we need something like that, and I don't know if there is anything that does that. I kind of doubt it's going to work on machines. I'm guessing it is just crops like it says, but uh, we'll try it out just in case. And it's one of our quests here, so we... Even if even if it doesn't work on machines, we'll definitely use it with our crops. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I found out uh, these actually have EMC values, so we can really skip through this, I think. Qubit clusters. Let's go ahead and take whatever we made before. We did like try to make this, and then we gave up. Or I gave up. Because <laughs> uh, we needed... We didn't have enough stuff to do it. But if we can duplicate things, oh my goodness, this is going to be so easy. So let's try throw that in here. Oh, not our quest book. Okay, throw that in there. And I think we need like 4,000 of these red ones or something like that. And probably amplification crystals too. Again, have... Oh, they don't have EMC values. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Um... Hmm. Rubies have EMC, okay. And it took some kind of card too. Amplification. Oh, a PRC cards. Those have EMC too. Okay, so we can we can duplicate those, just not directly. Awesome. So I let this run for a while. We got four thousand of the level ones in there. We actually have to craft these for the, the quest account. We can't just have the items. So we're gonna craft these one by one to finish up our quests here. Need a green one next, so let's make a cluster. Get four of those made. Alright, now we craft the green one. Good. Then we get four of those made. And then we can craft the... Well, maybe we should do it one by one. <laughs> like I said, just in case it doesn't count it when we skip it. Okay, we need a blue one next. Uh, cluster, and then the purple one. Cool, let's make a recipe for that one, because I don't think we did that already. And one for the, the purple one, too, we'll throw in there. Okay, we got four. Nice! Alright, that's all done. Hand that one in, too. We'll check out our bags. Garbage. Don't know what that does. Wait, does that speed up blocks? <laughs> uh, converts matter to a little bit of... Oh, energy. Diamond Helm of Seeing. Oh, that's what we got from the thing. I think we needed that before, but we, we did that already. Epic Bag. Another one. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's the purple thing made here. That's the hardest part of this recipe. Then Growth Pulsers we got... We can duplicate those. We got these circuits. Got to fight the Gaia Guardian a, a few times to get these. And the only other thing we need here is Liquid Sunshine. And this has an EMC value, so once we make one of these, we can duplicate it. And this is the only recipe that requires Liquid sun, Sunshine. 
La 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 la. <laughs> so I'm just going to make one bucket of this only. I don't think we need any more th than that. So rather than setting up a thing to do it like automatically, we're just going to like work our way through it here. So give these power and then we'll like snake them along as we go. I think we need four total, four vats. Um, so first one, let's get some water in there. And I don't know if it's a one-to-one -one conversion. This will be a good test to figure it out, actually. So I'm going to throw one bucket of water in this first one. And I think we need hooch as the starter step, if I remember right. So that's the seeds and sugar, or wheat. Um, seeds, do we have? We do. I don't know how many we need. We'll just try that, and we'll grab some of that. Throw that in here. That should be our first step done. We'll output into here. Is it working? I think we need more liquid, right? Okay, let's try to put more in. Yeah, there it goes. So we need two minimum. And that makes how much? 500 hooch. Okay, so we need a lot more water than just one to one here. We need fire water. And that is blaze powder and redstone in that. Okay, that's easy. Blaze. This is like one of those really tedious things that's at, that doesn't really require anything difficult to do. Just time. <laughs> um, okay, throw that in. That should give us our fire water. And we're done with this first step. So let's move this one over to here. We'll output into that. Okay, so we take our dandelion. Throw it in. That gives us a rose or a poppy. I'm just gotta cycle through till we get to the <laughs> not lily, sunflower, sunflower. And I think uh, instead of doing that several times, just in case for some reason we need more, let's go ahead and get some extra, just in case. Okay, and throw that in here. So that made. So once you have the hooch, it's one to one. So we can make up to four buckets of this stuff with our four buckets of hooch, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Now I wanted to check this stuff out actually. Somebody told me if you put these above solar panels during the nighttime, is it just turning night? Oh, it is, okay. That it'll keep them working during nighttime, which sounds crazy to me, but it might just be the Ender IO solar panels. Um, which I think we might have some on us to try this. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get this uh, working here. Uh, maybe we'll just set up our... Oh, I left it over there. Oops. <laughs> Let's grab this thing and see if we can charge it up during the nighttime with the solar panel. Just out of curiosity. So it's not quite fully charged. If we put our solar panel above... Efficiency is 13% right now, so it's not really charging too quick. Plus 5 per tick. Now if we put this above... Uh, efficiency 7%. I don't think it does anything. Yeah, it's not running. I think I've been tricked, guys. I don't think it works. At least not in this version. Maybe later, because this is still 1.7. Here we go. Awesome. So that was five Gaia Guardian fights, guys, which means I think we have enough. Should be 20 total. Oh, let's put these in here. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. I should get more than that. Yeah, 20 total. We have enough to make two of these blocks because of that. Oh, let's do one more. And we got two left over for if we need to do more fights, which we probably will. Now, I've been getting these uh, Dice of Fate, and I think I got... Well, I got a few from before, too. I don't know what these are. Somebody told me I should open them, though, or use them, or do something with them. Are they like a chance cube, or is it like a, a treasure reward? Or I don't know. I'm going to go over to this island, though, just in case they explode or do something crazy like that. I'm not sure. But they might be really good. It says, like, when you look at it, 
He deals the cards to find the answer. The sacred geometry of chance. Chance, chance cube. The hidden laws of probable outcome. The numbers lead a dance. But it might only just be positive stuff. The dice lands on five. You notice that it transforms into something else. Lost time. Oh, Ring of Odin. What's this do? I don't know. <laughs> it's a bobble. Equipable. No clue. It doesn't say what it does. Oh, there's probably a page in the Botania book on it, though. Okay. Lands on one. So do we just get, like, a random reward every time? Fruit of Grisaya. I said that wrong. Okay. I'm guessing that's, like, an apple. Three. Angel of Death. Okay, let's just open all these and we'll try to figure out what they do after. Because I have no clue. Psychotropic. That's a four. Thor. Wait, so we just got another four. Does it not give you a, another item then? I think if you have the item, it doesn't give it to you, right? I'm assuming that's what happened, because uh, there's probably only six special items. So in total, we got five? I'm not sure what just happened there. Oh, we're wearing one, that's why. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Okay, so we got three rings, and this thing, and an apple, and a key. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so these things are actually really cool sounding. Uh, there's an entry for them in the book here, so I've, I've been reading up what they do. Now let's try them out. So let's do this one first. It sounds like this teleports you to a spot. Not across dimensions, though. Otherwise, uh, it would be really, really cool. Always hold right click. Okay. So you can pick one spot. I don't think more than that, right? Yeah, just one spot. Let's see if it works in uh, unloaded chunks, too. That island should be unloaded. Let's go far, far away. That's cool. You can see it highlighted from a long distance, too. If it works in unloaded chunks, this thing's going to be really good. Not not in Skyblock, but just in general. <laughs> in Skyblock, this thing's going to be kind of useless, probably. I can still see it. Like, it's it's unloaded, but... Like, we're pretty far away here. Still see it. Okay, let's try to use it. I think it's unloaded, for sure. No, it, it seems to work. I don't think these are spawn chunks, so I think that works in unloaded anyway. Cool. All right, that's one of the items. This one apparently allows us to use mana instead of food, and I think you'll do it automatically. So once we eat this, we don't need to eat toast or anything anymore. It'll just feed us automatically, right? I can't eat it. <laughs> Is it something you wear? No. Oh, I'm getting lag. What's going on? Maybe I gotta... Oh, I gotta be hungry to do it, right? That's probably what's wrong. Okay, we'll wait to use that one too then, I guess. And let's go to another world for this other stuff, because they sound possibly destructive. We're gonna go to our mining world. This key, it says it summons 20... up to 20 weapons. And I think they cause explosions. So... Let's try it out. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, they don't destroy the land, though. Okay. That is so sick. I'm going to try blast myself. Okay, it's not too, too bad for damage on us. Let's kill that cow. <laughs> Man. Oh, it works quick too. Okay, so if you just spam it. <laughs> I like that. Oh, and they kind of they hold in the air too until you right click. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, uh, these other three rings can be combined into one big one, but I just want to try them out separately first. 
This one apparently allows us to to mine better with Botania tools. I don't know if it's going to apply to non-Botania stuff, though. Doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, so it it has to be... What what tool was it again? Uh, that was Thor. Terra Shatter. We need the Terra Shatter, and then it increases the mining area. So that's not super useful for us right now. Uh, the one that sounds really cool is the Odin one. So this gives us an extra 10 hearts, I think. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Extra, t extra 10 hearts. And it protects the wearer from various kinds of elemental damage, such as drowning, suffocation, fire, or starvation. That starvation might be really cool with uh, Vein Miner. Although we probably can't use Vein Miner if we're starving, right? Oh yeah, look, we're getting green hearts now. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I just want to try it out, see what happens. Yeah, we're, we're perfectly fine. And fire damage, too. That's pretty OP. And lastly here, this ring of Loki. I read what it does, but I couldn't really understand it. But basically, I think we got to shift right click. Oh. Wait a sec. Unequip. Put this one on. Or it said we have to have an empty hand, right? Okay. Okay, I see the blocks changing, but they're not doing anything, right? Oh, this is so confusing. Okay, let's try this again. Shift right click to start our selection. Then shift right click to get extras. Shift right click on the original to finish it. Let's try to do something before we do that. Okay, nothing happens. Um, if we shift right click here. Okay, unselects it. And then these start moving. Oh, we got to hold shift right click. Okay. Oh man, that is weird. <laughs> that is really weird. So we can destroy blocks to doing this if we have the the proper tool to do it. Um, what could you really use that for though? That sounds it's it's such a weird ability. Terror shatter or terror trans transcator. Is that teleportation? Oh, okay. So Truncator is a great axe of premium quality, achievable only with Terra Steel. So I guess you can chop down like multiple trees at once if you pre-select them all. Uh huh. Very cool stuff, though. That's that's neat. I've never seen these before. I didn't know they were a thing even. <laughs> all right. So then it says you can combine them into the ultimate ring. Let's do that. All right. Cool. I really like the, like for Skyblock here, for Project Dozone, the 10 hearts and, and resistance are going to be the most useful, probably. And we are hungry now, so we can eat this. Oh, it's as you eat it. Okay, so it doesn't go away. That's how you trigger it to use the mana. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, and it gave us saturation, right? So that's cool but we can't totally fill our saturation with it. So I think maybe eating toast is still a good idea because that gives us full saturation. But I'll try it a few more times just in case I'm wrong about that. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyways, that, that was a little bit of a sidetrack. It's cool to see that stuff, though. And throw that away. So what were we doing? We were trying to make the time block thing. <laughs> I got a little distracted here. I don't know what I just pressed. That's not the right button at all. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, time block. Imaginary time block. Here we go. I really want to try this thing out too, though. See what it does. Now, I guess let's grab some stars first, just in case for some reason we lose this thing. I don't want to have to make another one. So get that in there. Make sure we get a couple extra. Cool. All right, so this for sure works with crops. I'm going to try put it by this. See if it makes any difference first off, though. So there's no inventory to it. Um, I do have power on us. It takes power. I think tons of power. These are at 18 now. 
and I don't know if it's connected. It says zero. Maybe it just uses so much power, like this is only 500,000. Uh, let's maybe grab a test rack instead then. Oh, I got one on me actually. <laughs> or mining one. Okay, this will for sure give it enough power to keep up. Right? Maybe? Oh, uh, it should be exporting it. Configuration, we have energy sending and receiving, yeah. Okay, nothing's really happening. Probably doesn't do anything if it's not by crop, so it's not using power, right? This isn't... This isn't really draining. Mm, okay, let's go to our crops. We'll try it out there, I guess. Wait a second. Okay, so it might not work on neutron collectors for some reason, but I just checked online, and it sounds like they do speed up all blocks. So I want to try it out, like, on the nether portal here. Uh, the range, I don't know. I think it might be just be, uh, like, one block around it sort of thing. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, nothing happened. Or maybe they're disabled in Project Ozone. I thought it was going to shoot out a ton of pigment from the portal, but no. Nothing quite like that. Okay, let's break that so it doesn't go in when I break it. Huh. Well, I guess uh, we could put it by just any machine and check it out, right? doesn't have to be a portal. Um, but something that can run. Problem is, most of our machines are almost instant. Um, what's a slow machine? Oh, I know what's a slow machine. This thing over here. Yeah, okay. Let's try it out when we're making glowing magno magnolium. Glowing... Oh, wrong thing. Glowing over here. Let's try to make a thousand of those. Okay. Yeah, this this normally takes a really long time. Like, look how slow this is. So if we put this next to it, does it speed it up? That would be so cool. And again, it says zero. Like, it's not getting power. I don't know. Doesn't look any faster. No. Okay. Well, let's go to the crops. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark our spot here so we can return quickly. And here we go. So our crops are over here. This is also where I put the rest of the neutron collectors. And I'll probably move those other eight over here too. Uh, just put down a bunch in a row here because I wasn't sure if they needed sunlight or not. We'll probably make a big giant cube of these things, honestly, and then vein miner them to collect all the neutron piles. These are also at 18. Okay, I don't like to go here because this place is so laggy. <laughs> we got our one nether star going here. Mm, this might need to be in the middle, so I'm going to break that. Put this over here. Why can't I place it? Are you in the way, Taxes? There we go. Okay. Give it some power. Oh, that's like instant now. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Okay, so that definitely does something. It still says zero out of a thousand <laughs> in the way. Lead. That's what's really throwing me off. It's like it's not working, but it is for sure. Yeah, it's draining. That's not a lot of power either. We shut it off, then slows down quite a bit. Aha. Uh -huh. Problem is, this isn't really harvesting quick enough to take advantage of that, unless we throw in a minus one upgrade into here, so it only does one plant, and that might be a good idea, actually. Okay, so let's check this out. Uh, we got the time block there. I ran some power underneath to it, because if you put a cable above these plants, apparently they don't grow. It's, it's just like normal crops. See, it totally stops it. So you can't have anything above it. Uh, even like a, a transparent block like cables don't seem to work. So had to run the cable underneath. Now let's throw one of these in here. So this is a minus one upgrade. That means it only does one block. And because it only does one block, it should be a lot faster. 
Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. If we take that out, what's what's our rate like? Yeah, so that's that's definitely the way to go, especially since uh, like we don't have a ton of w awakened draconium, so we want to get the most out of what we have right now. We just got that one block or, or two blocks. There's another one at our other farm, which we should maybe move over here until we get more. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, that's cool. We'll get a few more Nether stars that way, and let's go back to spawn. Whoop. <laughs> I'm going to actually use this a lot, I think. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let's throw this stuff back in here. And what should we do next here? we got to hand in our quest. Alright. This might be a good item. Yeah, legendary. Look at this. What are we going to get? Ooh, a forbidden reward. This is a quest, actually. I don't know. It might be a crafting quest, though. It's under Kappa, I think. No, I counted it. Look at that. Oh, we don't have to make one now. Oh, sweet. Let's go to the mining world. <laughs> I think... Or we might need to charge it first, because it's got no durability to it. What does it say? The Mobius fuel will create such energy that it will melt 3x3 three three blocks in front of you. Oh, okay, so is it uh, just this... This... Uh, what's it called? Might be these. Do we do it like this? No. Here, let's turn on the magnet. This thing's actually pretty cool. Like, it's quick. It's pretty quick. If we spam right-click, does it work better? Yeah, I think it's faster than if we just hold right-click. Okay. Magnet doesn't pick up these black orbs. I think they're just particle effects. Right? And they disappear over time. They're not disappearing, though, now. Is it because I made so many? We shut that off. Oh, I don't know what the story is with these black orbs. They're not disappearing now. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Does this... Oh, it is giving us items, too, right? That's cool. I think. Oh, that's what they are. It's, a, it's the grouping of the items, right? So if we don't have inventory space... That's why I could get them originally there. So if we throw all our dirt away, we should be able to start picking these up. Yeah, each one of these has uh, like a collection of whatever you break in it. So if we use it on the stone and dirt here, we got four stone, five dirt. And then if we pick this up, we get four cobblestone and I think five dirt there. Aha! That's cool. We got so many cool new toys to play around with today. That was awesome. Like, uh, a lot of OP items, too. Those are always the most fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are about out of time here, though. Let's go ahead and take our extra life. Uh, we're going to do two quests, two very simple quests to finish off here. Just to get them out of the way. We need a quantum storage SSD. Solid state drive. Quantum. Or at least I'm assuming that's what it means. This is like so simple, like we, we have the stuff. All right, finish that one up. And then you use that for the storehouse. I'm th I think this is like a barrel or something of that nature. Maybe it holds a ton of items. I think it's storage though, because it says store. I'm a genius. Okay, uh, crystal, craft another one. All right, get that in there. Cool, it's another quest done. Okay, let's let's check this out. I just want to see what it does. Oh. Oh, is this like an inventory management system, maybe? Uh, what could we throw in there? Let's put our tables in there just to try it. Dude. This could be really good, actually. So if we search fluid... Yeah, it narrows down the search. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Let's throw a bunch of stuff in there and just see what happens. I wonder like how much it can actually handle though. There's a scroll bar here, so maybe quite a bit. But it wasn't very expensive either. Like this would have been good early on for sure. Yeah, I think it take a whole bunch of stuff in there. 
Can you attach a cable to it and pull stuff out automatically? Uh, let's check this out. Oh, it looks like you can. Oh man, that's a really OP item then. Okay, check this out. Like it's, it doesn't take any power either, right? Okay, so if we filter... Oh, um... Oh, what did I just do? I don't know. Uh, we got to get uh, an item filter. All right, throw that in here just to try this. Okay, and extract. Always on, throw this in there. So only fluid fluids will go in here. It did pull the items out, though, just randomly. Um, hmm. Oh, it's going. Okay, it just took a little bit of time there. That's really cool. I like that. Throw these back in there. Cool. Anyways, let's check out our bags. Oh, another full set of appliances. And ultimate bin. We got that too. All right, let's just try out the Apple II before we finish up here. So I'm going to hold right click this time as long as I can. I think maybe I didn't hold it long enough. No, you cannot max out the saturation always. Unless your your hunger's way down, I guess. Uh-huh. I think I'm going to keep using toast then because I, I like the saturation a lot. Uh, this thing... <laughs> I cannot get enough air pressure in there. I don't know why it's it's draining at four bars. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.